Hi, I am Nikki Hinkle. I'm a Diamond Ambassador with Plexus. And I hear that you might not be feeling your greatest on our Plexus products. And I wanted to help you troubleshoot and explain to you why you might be feeling a little bit worse instead of better since starting the products, which I know you're probably thinking, I didn't start this to feel worse. This is not what I want. It's not what I want for you either. But let me tell you why, for some people, this process is a very important process in order to get healthy. So there's two reasons that might be causing you to feel worse. And that one is detox and the other is die off. Both very similar reactions, very similar in the way they make you feel, and we're going to fix them in similar ways. But I just wanted to explain to you what they are so you know what's happening inside of your body. First thing is detox. Anytime you make any health change in your life, whether that just be starting to eat more vegetables or drink more water or work out, you're going to experience detox. It's something we do, our bodies naturally do all the time. It's just that sometimes we detox a little bit stronger than others. And what detoxing is, basically it's your liver flushing toxins out of your body. So your liver is processing these toxins that we get inside of us through, sometimes it's environmental and we can't even control it. Sometimes it's through the food we eat. There's lots of different ways that our body gets toxins inside of them. The liver, the liver processes it, it flushes it out, it dumps it into your digestive system for you to take all the way out. <laughs> and so, but the problem is sometimes when it goes into that digestive tract, it, some of those toxins get reabsorbed, especially if you're not going to the bathroom often enough or drinking enough water to flush it out. If those things aren't happening, those toxins are getting reabsorbed. And then that's where you're feeling that bad detox effect. So you may think, well, why do I want to get these toxins out? If they're sitting dormant and not causing problems where they're at, why do I want to move them around? Well, that's a very valid question. But honestly, the health of Americans is going downhill rapidly. And there are reasons for that that some, that some people really can't explain. And I, and I truly think that the, the foods that we're eating and the toxins that we're putting on our foods and the toxins that we're surrounding ourselves in the environment that weren't around 100 years ago are a big part of the reason why we're seeing all of these autoimmune issues and these other things coming up that weren't even around 100 years ago. And so we want the toxins out. I promise letting them sit there dormant, they are wrecking havoc on your body. So you want the toxins gone. It's a good thing. However, I know you don't want to feel bad in the process, right? So what can we do to help improve this? Well, there's a couple things you can do. Um, one thing that helps is eating more fiber in your diet. Actually, our Slim Hunger Control has fiber in it. So if you're on XOS, if you started on the XOS Slim and you're feeling really bad on it, you might try switching to the Hunger Control because that extra fiber can actually help support you. Even though you might not need to lose weight, it's not what it's about, um, but it just has extra fiber in it. That's where the Hunger Control portion comes from, and that fiber might actually help you with your detox. Another thing you can do is lots and lots of water. Make sure you are drinking half your body weight in water a day. If you're 140 pounds, I want you drinking at least 70 ounces of water a day. Your iced tea doesn't count as water. Your sparkling water doesn't count as water. Your slim doesn't count as water. Pure water, like you want pure water flushing these toxins out. So you may feel like you're drinking all day long. I do, but I feel really good when I drink all day long. So another thing that can help you with this toxins, getting the toxins out, is our BioCleanse. So our BioCleanse is one of our products. You might already be on it if you're on the Triflex. And one thing that it does is it has bioflavonoids in it. And those bioflavonoids are great for 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 getting rid of toxins, but it also helps it also helps flush stuff out better, if you, if you get what I'm saying. It's the BioCleanse. It's the magnesium oxide in it. So that's going to help you go into the bathroom so those toxins aren't sitting in your digestive tract and they're not getting reabsorbed. So our goal, again, is for you to feel better and get them all out of your system. So also sweating things out. Hot baths will help. You can take a detox bath with Epsom salts. You can get, sit in a sauna or exercise. These are other things that are going to help you with detox. And last, just low 
lower your products. Maybe maybe you're detoxing too hard too fast. Maybe you, if you're only on Slim, maybe just cut back to a half a pack. Slim alone can detox you. It does have ingredients like alpha lipoic acid and chlorogenic acid that have proven to have a detoxing effect. So if you're just on Slim alone, you might still be experiencing this. But if you're in the entire triplex and you're feeling really bad, it might not be detox. It might actually be the other phenomenon that I, we like to call die off. So what is die off and how is it different than detox? So as you've probably been told, the one thing that is amazing about our ProBio 5 is it has an enzyme blend that was created to target candida and an antifungal to go in and kill that candida once the enzyme blend targets it and gets through its shell. So candida, what is that? Maybe I went too fast there. <laughs> candida is a bad yeast that lives inside of our body. We're born with it. It's necessary because what it does is it decomposes our body when we die. When we die, that darn candida is still alive and it turns us in back to dust. <laughs> so that's basically the purpose of it. It's kind of a dark and morbid purpose, but it does have a purpose. So however, it loves sugar. It feeds on sugar. And if you eat sugar in your diet, it's going to grow and flourish and, and thrive. And so, I mean, we've all consumed sugar in some way or form, correct? And so we're going to, we're causing that yeast, that bad yeast, that candida to grow and flourish. And if you're not taking care of getting, having something to kill it off, it's going to be an overgrowth of it. So an overgrowth of candida can cause a world of health issues. And I could go in that on a different video later. But right now, I just want to talk about die off. So what our probiome is doing is it's going in, it's killing the candida off. So it's dying in our body. But in the process of it dying, it is trying to fight back. So there is a war going on in your gut with this candida dying off. When it fights back, one of the big signs of die off that is actually different than detox is you might notice an extreme craving of sugar. That is the yeast talking, <laughs> saying, I want to be fed. Do not kill me. So that is a very common, a very common reaction to die off. You might also notice if you have an autoimmune disease, whatever your current symptoms are might be heightened. It's it that is that yeast just really fighting back. This is something that is, if you were experiencing this, think of it as a positive thing because you're pissing off the candida. <laughs> Sorry for my language, but that's what we want because we want that stuff gone. It's, it's bad stuff. And so one way to help you feel better, because my goal is for you to feel better, is for you to maybe lower your probio dosage. If you're if you started off on two a day, go down to one and increase your biocleanse dosage. Increasing that biocleanse helps support that detox and die off symptoms. It supports both of them because both of them also go back to the reabsorption in your digestive tract. So um, we want to help you with that. So lower probio, pro bio, increase bio cleanse. Eventually, I want you working that pro bio back up, but we want you to feel good in the process. Just know it might be a little bit of a slower journey for you on your health journey if you're having to lower that. Keep that in mind. Be patient with your body. It did not take a month to get in the place that it's at right now. So give yourself time to heal and feel better because that is my ultimate goal for all of you. Also, the same other things with the, that I said with detox will also help with die off, increasing your water especially because that's going to flush the candida out. Get rid of the dead candida that we're killing already. Let's get it out of our system completely. So I hope this helped answer your questions. I hope you start to feel better soon, and I hope you understand why the feeling a little bit worse in the beginning is sometimes a necessary part of the process. I'm not just trying to sell you more products. I'm not just here to try to make you think, you know, this is this is what it is, stay on our products. I really want to see your health be the very best it's ever been. So I hope this helped and y'all have a great day.